now, first things first is I'm gonna tie the tie, if I can remember. So it was wide under, then wrap this around, wrap it around again, put it around over, and then put it through the front place, have that, and then pull it. <laughs> it's too long. So first things first, I'm going to put some moisturizer on because I'm going to have stuff all over my face for a while. I feel like that's going to spread well, so no more. It's, it spreads really well. My dad early told me I look, I look like a lunch lady. I'm just going to put down the eyebrows because he doesn't have eyebrows. I'm just going to put some powder on this. Adding some primers so it stays on even better. Green. And the You Can Be Athena painting palette. And it's a bright green, not dark. It's the Grinch makeup all over again. And really, it's just all you do is painting every part of your face like this. Luckily when I actually need to put this hat down and put tape around it, just so I wouldn't get um, paint on my face. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. DIY'd Amazon, Amazon. Putting some setting spray on it before I put on powder and then put on eyeshadow and then start shading. We're using theater powder to do this. With the only green I have, I'm going to be using the James Charles palette that I've had for years. And just use this green for more like powder over top just so I can set it better. With the You Can Be palette once again, I'm going to take the darker green and outline my lips. This is a little darker and I'll just So for the second and probably final time, I'm going to spray on setting spray and then I'm going to pack it everything down with the Ben Nye uh, translucent powder in fair. And then I think we're pretty much done. So far, this is turning way better than the last face paint I did. I already had experience putting face paint on, green face paint on specifically, due to, um, I think it was two or three years ago that I did Grinch makeup. I actually kind of want to put a little bit of highlighter on, but it's not really highlighter, from Hip Dot. Amazing pigmentation. I'm going to put on this green. Adding a, a tiny bit of glam, but not too much. I actually changed my mind about the eyeshadow. That was a little too bright. On the Slytherin palette, we're going to use Cunning, and it's much darker, so I can still get sparkle while still having the black. I mean, the dark. Being able to rub on the skin and only getting, like, a tiny bit of, like, is good. Because <laughs> that means I'm doing something right. I'm going to take this off now. It's starting to look a little Tim Burton. That's a good transition. Ignore the pimples. Especially up here, because that's where the hat's gonna be. It's party time. P-A-R-T-Y, cause I gotta. And there is the end of the costume. And I think I'm gonna have to do my ears anyway, cause it just looks really bad.